just like held it together and played a best of five set versus a Mario player, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> See you guys next time. See ya. I feel like Mario, even even the so Mario's chain grabs and grab follow ups, they just hurt more than other characters that can do the same thing. Oh. I don't know why. It's because it, it like it has a lot of hits done, and you know like Mario's like looks like a really stubby character. So when he hits you with his max range bullshit, you're like wow. Yeah, like, I hate deceptive range. Snake can do a similar thing, but it doesn't bother me as much when I get Snake up throw into up air into up air into up air. I'm like disjoints. I'm completely fine with like conceptually, but I want to be able to see the hit the hitbox. Like I, I like I'm finally like like Mars Sword has its problems, <laughs> but like that getting hit by a Mars Sword versus like getting hit by any like by getting any of like hit by any of like Mario's this ones for instance is so much better because I see the sword I see like the visual like the hitbox I can't see like the, like, the hitbox itself but like there's still like a swing you get by Mario down smash you get hit by like fucking like th fourth dimension shit sometimes and you're just like well I'm d I guess I'll die then um yeah no for sure like Mario's Follow-ups, also just like when you get hit by them, it feels like, well, there's nothing I could have done in that situation. When I get like tech chased by like Sheik, there's at least the illusion most times that you're gonna be able to get out of the situation. But like when Mario Chain grabs you into into a, like a forward air, it's like wow. <laughs> I got grabbed. I thought I wasn't playing a fast follow-up. Even, but even if you are, like I never truly conquered my like the the full scope of my ICs problem. I beat the Wobblers, but not like the, the ones that actually know how to play neutral, because <laughs> like, I learned, believe it or not, I learned how to not get frustrated at something, because with, with wobbling, um, once it, it happens, it's just like you're dead, right? Like, like I said about like, the illusion of being able to get out of it, when you get grabbed by a Marth, and like, like, this is the argument for not banning, banning wobbling, like when you get grabbed by a Marth on FD, and you get zero to death, like, to some people, that's the same thing as getting wobbled, because you got grabbed and you died for it, yeah. you know? But, like, when I have to get, like, up aired across the stage for, like, 20 minutes, and then get down aired, it's, like, it's so much more disconcerting than just getting, getting grabbed and, like, watching some guy, like, press 200 BPM, you know? I feel like on this one, uh, Mew's not gonna wanna drop the, uh, drop the Dins Fire to the ground like he usually do, like, don't move it down, leave it up. Mm -hmm. So if Ike jumps... He might still run into it out of quick draw. Like having just having Din's fire out continually will reduce his ability to use quick draw. I also don't think that like Ike needs quick draw in this matchup. You know, I Ike, think Ike, if Ike gets a grab, he gets so much off of Zelda. But the thing is, like Ike has enough tools um, versus like Zelda's like weight and size that like she doesn't like he doesn't need to get the grab to get things up. He can just like jump over that Din's fire, hit a nair at like at, like max range, and there's literally nothing that Zelda has like in her toolkit to like deal with it. Yeah, I've learned a lot about how to what not to do against Ike because of uh, because throwing. I play with him, and there are a few things that I learned that are the most important against Ike. One, don't start going back to stage until Ike's going back to stage, <laughs> which is stupid, but it's true. And two. If he's on ledge, you can't be close to ledge. You have to pressure away from ledge and hold tender stage. I, like, I don't know what the Q is, but there's a Q. I knew it. I used to know it. Like, there's a specific, like, like, ta like um, Q in Ike's, um, uh, like, uh, like, sword throw. Like, once it reaches a certain, a certain height, as Fox, you can perfectly just drop down back air, and you'll hit him, like, any every time. Like, every single yeah. time. Yeah, once Ike starts going up, there's no hitbox on the sword. <coughs> the second he starts going up? Once he starts traveling up towards the sword, there's no hitbox on the sword. So there's only two hitbox, there's only two, like, frames of, like, like, there's only two active hitboxes on, like, the sword. There's, like, yeah. it's like a multi, it's like a two-hit multi-hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, this, it's the same thing in, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing in Brawl, and in, in Smash 4 as well. But the ways that, like, one, um, Stig has, ar or, Mike has armor in both those games. Yeah. Um, and two, the tools that you have, like, depending on what character you're playing, like, you can't, like, really just, like, drop down aerial with most characters to cover it. Like, you do swing on stage. Like, you throw a hitbox, like, at the ledge. Um, to cover it. <coughs> yeah, like, so definitely, like, very high on the list of characters that I wish I was still playing Brawl. <laughs> you know, like...
I do feel like this is actually a really good stage for Mew, yeah. uh, for Zelda in, in this matchup, <coughs> because, like, oh, that was a good tag. Um, because, like, there's not as much places Ooh, he's I dead. can go. Holy uh, shit. That was, dude, that was shine up smash up the side. <laughs> like, this could be it. Oh, he needed a shield drop, and then, like, yeah. I just learned about, um, about wave dropping. What's that? Damn. When you, when you, like, shield drop off the platform, like, during your dash, and you, like, you, like, do, like, you carry your momentum, your dash momentum with the shield drop. What's, it's called wave, wait, it's called wave dropping, right, Nick? Wave dropping? When you, when you shield drop with your momentum. Wait, I stop paying attention. Dante won. Right? <coughs> <coughs> I'll be right back. Alright. You switch to Phil. I can, I can see, I can see, I can understand the switching. Um, it's just rough for him to avoid the quick speed with the, the quick draws. In the large, the large hitboxes. Like, Zelda has, you know, fair or whatever. And Din's fire to mess to try and use utilize range, but Ike Sword just has more. Um, <sighs> okay, that was interesting. Counters almost never work out, I swear. But also, Falcon gets completely slammed by uh, getting grabbed, also. Definitely think that there could have been a better option than early forward tilt there on the side of uh, Dante for the edge guard, but um, it was a good move for edge guarding Falcon. And he barely gets to update the bracket. It's not been updated. No, it's updated. It's set to Don uh, Dante, Mew, and Rangunchu are the three left. <laughs> coverage. Oh my goodness, there's so many nares. Okay. And he gets the I guess on stream. Oh, you mean out of loser's quarters? And he doesn't tech at all. Yeah, it's Lucia's finals. Um, oh, wait. This can be it. No. Still up. And oh, my goodness. If he went straight into that, I would have. And we got Ike. This is Lucia's finals? Yeah. So Dante switching to no, not switching to Marth. No, he's switching to Marth. Yeah. Uh, and he doesn't want to give space, which makes sense. We got Green Hill, is that? Green Hill again. So I'm. I think I also agree with this pick for, um. In terms of Mew. Uh. Because. <clears throat> oh. Of course, the blast zones are good, the low sides and stuff, but that also works for Marth, so that's not the strength in terms of the matchup. Okay. He needs to DI much better. He was getting chain grabbed and, and 700 fares. But, um.
Well, there goes the first stop, but, um... Since the mobility is lessened by the fact there's no, like, platforms, like, Marth can't move around as much. And if Zelda knows where you are and where you're going to be, it's much easier for her to try and deal with it. Bad deal on the forward throw. Where did that dance fire go? <laughs> It's almost 11. I don't think... Are we going to be able to stay for grands? Not if it gets reset. We'll see. How did those both miss? This should be it. Didn't get the strong hit. There you go. I don't know if Dante wanted to give him a chance or just wanted to play something different, but the Ike is where it's at for if he's trying to just win. But he's switching to Fox. Okay. Dante go to FD, switch to Fox and go to FD? I don't know, but he did. She's getting good to throw. Who knows? Clearly more than like two dollars he'll get for getting second.
I don't have anything to say, it's just it's Fox for Zelda on FD. Zelda's the chain guy being out of I'm not here to commentate. I'm just here to complain to that he switched to Fox and chose no FD? to complain that he picked FD. What? Yeah, what? He switched to Fox and picked FD. Why? Because he wants to throw. <laughs> Gee, I'm so upset with him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Did he switch back? Yeah. Okay. He's like, okay. God. <laughs> FD. I hope he watches this VOD and just hears me complain about him. He's actually pretty upset though. It could definitely go either way. Um. Well, in earlier two games when he was playing Ike, he had... Well, it wasn't like a, a just free win. It was a relatively yeah. convincing win. Oh, ah, okay. I like he didn't get smashed. Or anything. It was a good set. It was good games. But it was clearly in Donkey's favor. For sure. I mean, there's a certain point where the skill level between these two players is so close that. A lot of this does come down to the matchup. And in this matchup, Ike actually just slaps Zelda. Um, yeah, the only thing I the, th the only things I was really seeing that I can think of in terms of like usefulness is when he's at a distance, instead of dropping the Din's fire, put it slightly up just to make it so he can't just quick draw yep. jump. Just to try and reduce his mobility. Din's is like you should only be using it to uh, reduce quick draw angles. Yeah. Or opportunities. In this matchup at least. Like in, in the new stock, you put it off to the side over there. I, don't really I think um, fundamentally, Mew has good ideas about Dins, but he doesn't switch it up based on the matchup. So uh, he ends up putting Dins places where like it just doesn't make sense to do it for that specific matchup. Ooh, okay. That was a kind of bad shield grab from Shane, though. Yeah. Or tilt. Some of the didn't hit him. Sure it Down air, up air, yep. Yeah. Oh, not thought... quite yet. This is a pretty large stage. I really like the stage. Yeah, I'm a fan. Okay, that yeah, was good. Flips him. Uh, forced him to go high since he was directly underneath the ledge. He couldn't. Well, he could have gone to the ledge, but Shane was um, pressuring it. So, r really good from Shane to. Clear out the dins and get the force out there. I mean, that's really good of Shane. I don't know if you noticed. Um, he started, or well, not not like during the set, but over over the last few sets, he started um, approaching when Zelda starts her down B or up B. Because uh, it's actually a pretty laggy startup on it. Yeah. Uh, same with when she's putting out dins. You can kind of just run up and hit it. Do you actually I, know if there's a hitbox on dins until it's out? It. I believe there isn't until it's. Because I'm, I'm just thinking about that. I've never seen it hit someone as it's flying out. Still, yeah, no, it doesn't. But like, happen. oh, that was the worst DI. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't because. Yeah, no. I think it really just a lot goes in the favor of Ike as long as he's saying, I'm coming at you. Yeah. Um, I mean, you still have to be pretty smart with how you approach. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Zelda. Threaten it, threatening the fact that you are going to go in. 
just when are you going to do it and how are you going to do it is the thing. Versus Zelda, the most... Wow, he just went the fuck on out there. He's like, man. Yeah. He's like... I like it. I'm a fan. All right. Um, Rangunchu versus Dante for top two. Damn, all right. Holy shit, Shane came out. That's sick. All right, I'm done now. <laughs> I, I can yell at him in person. Oh, 